the another chapter is class 6 social studies geography chapter 3 motions of the earth motion of the earth the earth moves into two different ways rotation and revolution rotation the earth rotates on its own axis in its axis is an imaginary line between the north pole and south pole the axis is tilted the earth takes 24 hours to complete a full circle uh, 1036 miles per hour effects of rotation on the earth as the earth rotates on its axis the half of the earth faces the sun and half of the earth faces away from the sun the half of the earth that faces the sun will experience day while the half of the earth that earth faces away from the sun will experience night this is the image of day and night you can see from the yellow side the sun rays and just opposite the black dark earth side is given so this clears the day and night on the high and low tide high and low tide is a result of the gravitational pull between the sun and the moon when the earth rotates the sun and the moon pulls it however one of the force is usually stronger than the other hence we will experience high and low tide wind speed and direction wind on the earth comes from the north south east west direction as the earth rotates on its axis different places will get stronger surge of wind as the result of the speed of the rotation image of wind speed and direction wind speed and directions are how fast the air is moving and from which direction so see this picture where the wind direction from the wind blows and the wind speed how fast the wind blows is given by this you can understand it revolution the earth revolves round the sun the earth takes 365 and 14 day to complete the revolution a year earth revolves around the sun in a slightly eccentric elliptical orbit once a year the speed of earth revolution is about 18 miles per hour the effect of revolution on the earth the revolution of the earth around the sun the tilt of the earth axis of the rotation respects to the plane of the ecliptic the tilt of the earth axis remain constant so these are the three facts causes the season solstice one of two days in the year when the sun is at its highest or lowest point in the sky at noon equinox one of two days in the year when day and night are the same length of time summer solstice marks the beginning of the summer on june 21st and 22nd june 21st is the longest day when it is summer in the northern hemisphere it will be winter in the southern hemisphere and the sun is directly over the tropic of cancer winter solstice marks the beginning of the winter on december 21st and 22nd december 21st is the shortest day when it is winter in the northern hemisphere and it will be summer in the summer hemisphere the sun is directly over the tropic of capricorn spring equinox marks the beginning of the spring on march 
and 21st when it is the spring in the northern hemisphere it will be autumn in the southern hemisphere and the sun is directly over the equator autumn equinox marks the beginning of the autumn on september 22nd and 23rd when it is autumn in the northern hemisphere it will be spring in the southern hemisphere and the sun is directly over the equator the effects of revolutions causes varying length of day and night in december the sun is directly over the tropic of capricorn therefore there will be shorter days and no longer night but in june the sun is directly over the tropic of cancer therefore there will be longer days and shorter nights during the seasons temperature changes depend on angles at which sun's ray hit the earth so see this picture and understand it N now the question answers the answer the following questions in brief the first question is what is the angle of inclinations of the earth axis with its orbital plane question number b is define rotation and revolution question number c is what is a leap year and the question number d is differentiate between the summer and the winter solstice question number d is differentiate between the summer and winter solstice e question number e is what is an equinox question number f is why does the southern hemisphere experience winter and summer solstice at different time than that of the northern hemispheres question number g is why do the poles experience about 6 months day and 6 months night answer number 1 is the angle of inclinations of the earth axis with its orbit plane is 66 and 1/2 degree the movement of the earth on its axis is called rotation the movement of the earth around the sun in a fixed path or an orbit is called revolution every fourth year february has 29 days instead of 28 days such a year with 366 days is called a leap year answer number d is the summer solstice when the southern hemisphere experiences the winter season and it is summer in the northern hemisphere at that point in the time the position of the earth on 21st june is called the summer solstice winter solstice when the southern hemisphere experiences the summer season and reverse occur at the northern hemisphere it's called the winter solstice answer number e is on 21st march and september 23rd direct rays on the sun fall on the equator this is at this position neither of the poles is tilted toward the sun therefore the whole earth experiences equal days and equal nights this is called an equinox answer number f is the earth is always revolving and it is divided into the two hemispheres the part of the earth which faces the sun experiences the summer and the part away from the sun experiences winter therefore the southern hemisphere experiences winter and the summer solstice at different times than that of the northern hemisphere question number 2 is stick the correct answers the movement of the earth around the sun is known as rotation revolution or inclination next question direct rays of the sun fall on the equator on which month of date 21st march 21st june or 22nd december the next question is christmas is celebrated in summer 
in which country japan india or australia question number d is cycle of the season is caused due to rotation revolution or gravitation and here are the answers the first answer is revolution the second is 21st march third is australia and the fourth is revolution fill in the blanks so here are the question and just next the answers are given with the questions in bold print so the first question is the leap year has dash number of days second question is the daily motion of the earth is dash and question number three is the earth travels round the sun in dash orbit question number d is the sun's rays full vertically on the tropic of dash on 21st june and the days are shorter during dash season now all the fill in the blanks answers are given here a leap year has 366 number of days the daily motion of the earth is rotation the earth travels around the sun in an elliptical orbit the sun's ray fall vertically on the tropic of cancer on the 21st june days are shorter during winter season differentiate between summer solstice and winter solstice so the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere the longest days and the shortest night occur on 21st june at this time in the southern hemisphere it occurs the shortest day and the longest night this position on the earth is called the summer solstice whereas the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere the shortest day and the longest night occur on 22nd december at this time in the uh, southern hemisphere it occurs the longest day and the shortest night this position of the earth is known as the winter solstice short answer type question the question number 1 is what would happen if the earth did not rotate so the answer is in such a condition the portion of the earth facing the sun would always experience day and thus there would be continuous warmth in the region at the same time the other half would always remain dark and will freezing cold all the day these are extreme conditions which are not suitable for life thus we can say that if the earth did not rotate the life would not have been possible question number 2 is how does leap year occur so the answer is the earth takes 36514 days and one year to complete one revolution around the sun we consider a year as consisting of 365 days only and ignore 6 hours for our convenience 6 hours saved every year are added to make one day like 24 hours over a span of the four years this surplus day is added to the month of february and thus every fourth year february of 29 days instead of 28 days such a year with 366 days is called a leap year so dear students i hope you have understood this chapter so go through the chapter and its question answers and other activities study them well and do them in your notebook stay at home thank you